some knife people back again with more of these knives start you off with a quick look at this pair of three in the cpm crew wear and smooth g10 awesome action love this knife so i uh, want to say a quick shout out to any new subs you know thank you for subbing and uh, i appreciate you guys helping me get to the 500 i haven't asked for much but uh, thank you guys for you know, subbing tuning in so let's get into it um so what we do here some unboxings uh do something for myself i'm gonna use the crew wear pair of three one of my baby knives i figured i'd switch it up and uh do something a little different here this isn't a giveaway unboxing it's some more for me so thank you pair of three love this knife Again, we got some popcorn. This comes from, again, Knives Plus. Let me get some of this out of here. Whoa. All right, let's see what's in there. Let's kind of change the theme up a little bit. Yup, got a Spider Co. Ooh, I forgot, we got a couple things in here. Check that out. Uh, I've got this too. Damn, the rest of popcorn. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get this thing going. So yeah, really cool. I guess uh, I did get a Savivi. So we'll put that aside. That was actually for the pouch. For those of you that don't know, I'm doing a little pouch there giveaway for 500 subs. So when we get there. And they gave me that another free lanyard that's cool uh, but this is what we got here this was the main main squeeze here bam little native pin black so we got the compression lock oh also that's part of it also Let's see what we got here Let's check this out uh, again knives plus Check them out. I got some pair of three scales. Possibly to change that out. These were, I think they were like a blue denim. Not sure who made them. I check check back on that. Put that aside right there. You can tell it's blue. Pretty cool. Mm. And then we also have. Wow, let me show you this first. Kind of killing it here. Uh, my first ever little native. It is pretty little. She got that nice coarse G10, like the Yojimbo. All blacked out. Free lint. Got a nice little pocket clip, deep carry. Compression lock, not blacked out, but that's still good. So you got your compression lock. There you go. Opening hole or compression. Let's get this baby open. Spidey flick it. Boom. Check that out. So you got an S30 V blade coated. Got your nice 50 50 choil. Compression lock. Got a barrel spacer there. Open construction. Really cool little knife. It's pretty small. One, two, three, four. I got large size hands. So it's about the size, a little smaller than a native. For those of you that should have brought one out. <clears throat> but really cool. Love my blacked out blades. For sure but here's the twist if you didn't catch it that's what i got some titanium titanium scales so what i'm going to do is hopefully switch these scales up see what it's going to look like with titanium figured i'd add a little bit of weight 
and I'm also gonna try to um, uh, do the pair of three uh, that I have here. Check probably, you know, since I like these scales a lot, uh, I wanted to try some of my card on it, carry it more. So let's check out that action. Ooh, doesn't drop shut, but again, it's out of the box. Pretty small. It does want to kind of has a little bump right there. So it does want to nick you on the way down. So you can see that better. So that does hit you a little bit on the way down. Again, it's pretty stiff because it's brand new. But I'll break it in. Pretty good little size. A little smaller than I expected, but um, very pocketable for sure. Let's get these guys open. See the sharpness. I'll try the sharpness on this. Nice, that's sharp. <clears throat> yeah, very sharp, very sharp. First time buying a uh, titanium scales. I didn't even cut through it. Sorry. So these are just stone washed titanium scales from this company, Flytanium. Pretty sweet, pretty light. Let's see what it looked like. Uh, I don't know. What it might look like there. Pretty sweet. Kind of raider colors. So I thought that matched good with the writing. Check that out. That looked pretty cool. So we'll check that out. I'll probably have to do a video on that. <clears throat> Actually, let's open this too. I forgot about that. That is, this comes from DLT. This was, uh, you'll see right now. So you see the sharpness, look at that. Like butter. I love S30V. This is from DLT. Oh, sweet. Check that out. Ooh, man. That is awesome, dude. Never seen that before. Sweet. That is sweet, sweet, sweet. We got here some RGT scales. These are also a pair of three. But these are, um, of course, kind of... Uh, burlap micarta so let's just compare them to this one so we're all over the place here but let's do the unboxing so these are two different you can tell the gene and the burlap so yep i got another surprise bam but you're gonna have to wait on that so one of these pairs will be going on this most likely, and you have to wait for the other. Let me know what you think, which one I should put on the crew wear. The denim or the burlap. Check that out. What else can we do with this little native here? Pretty dope. Kind of like it. It is really small. Let's do the measurements, actually. I haven't done that. You know, let's wait at first, too. See what this bad boy weighs. There we go. It's 2.4 ounces. Pretty cool. Pretty lightweight. <clears throat> Definitely good for the pocket. Let's put it here. Looking at an under six inch knife. Under 
for six inches. Blade, literally. So about two inches cutting, two and a half with the choil, or to the handle. And about a three and a half inch handle. And it literally right under six inches. Sweet. Pretty cool. And then, of course, what it'll look like with the scales, hopefully. Pretty sweet. That's gonna look awesome. Like that. So, leave that there. Let's compare it to some other knives since we're here. It's an Elementum. Regular Delica Warney. Some commoners. Hope everybody's doing good out there with the fires, the earthquakes, pandemics. Hope everybody's doing all right. Keep insane. Hard for everybody. Do a pair of three here. That is the BD1. I'll have to bring that guy in next week. So I don't want to keep you guys, hold you guys hostage here forever. So we'll check out two pair of threes there. Really sweet. Love the compression lock. See how they get once they break in. Especially this bad boy. Awesome. And a couple big knives, the big brothers and the cousin. That's the Endura 4. And we're looking at the Shaman here. So you go big brother, little brother. See the resemblance there and the choils, the leaf blade shape. Love it. And of course, it's one of my favorites. So you can see much bigger, half the size. Awesome. So there we go, there we go. There we go. And that's the native, little native, I'm sorry. And compression lock, black G10, S30V, coated blade, made in Colorado. What else didn't we check? Centering. Mm, that looks pretty down the center. Close enough. So that's it. That's how we're doing it. I know we sidetracked a little bit with the scales. Uh, did a little modification to my zombie neck. Buffed out these, scratched out these bolsters. I think it looks a lot better that way. For those of you that care. And that's it. Oh, stay there, baby. All right, so here we go. Last look at the native, little native. That's it. That's all we got. If you guys like the content, you guys know where to find me. Sub, get your notifications up. And that's what we do around here. These knives, scales, we'll do some mod work and I'll get back to y'all. Have a good one. Oop, I'll work it. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Have a good one.